Who wants to pedal a bike uphill? The fun's going downhill. Bicycle riding where cars, cops, and pavement. And out in the hills, you eliminate all three of those. We loved getting high off, doing crazy stuff. And uh, riding our bikes down Mount Tam was a total rush. The problem at the time was the bicycles, they weren't suited for the mountain. Cruisers, gear bikes, bombers. Cruiser bikes, clunkers. My ballooner. Clunkers, with a K. Clunkers. Clunkers, I think. We cut the fenders off, cut the uh, chain guard off, cut off the, uh, the useless kickstand, take off the tank if it had one, and you had a clunker. Wolf would call me up and say, hey man, you want to go on a clunk? And he'd be going on an afternoon clunk or something, and we'd go out for like three or four hours, and it was a completely different scene of people. In the beginning, in the 70s, there were no rules because the authorities didn't know about us. There was no speed limit. There were no rules about not riding on single track trails. It was wide open. It was a brotherhood, a sisterhood of it all. You know, it's a family. It's, it's a great thing. And it amazed me because, you know, I was used to the world of athleticism. And this was an absolute radical departure from that. It was, it was like uh, the extended family. Get out and have a great time with friends of just all hours of the of the day and night. <laughs> Somewhere along the line, you get some competitive types together, and somebody's going to say, "Well, I'm fastest." You know, somebody else would say, "Well, no, you're not. I'm faster than you are. <laughs> you're not as fast as I am. Who is the fastest?" I beat Joe uh, every time it ever counted. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing leads to uh, another, and you find a good downhill to prove it. So we came up with the idea of running a time trial. See, once and for all. Which of the eight or nine of us was the fastest guy in the downhill? What was okay. the prize? What was the prize supposed to be? Oh, I think I put up a, something for the winner, some smokables. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just an evangelist for cycling. I want to tell people about it. You know, this is not just kind of something we're doing on the side. This is kind of a you know, part of our passional life. We built them because they were fun. I mean, I actually think that's one of the magical things that made it so special. My buddy Gary and I, we had this huge adventure and we didn't even realize while we are having it what an adventure it was. And when you share an adventure like that with some guys, it, you know, it's pretty much a forever thing. We're all friends and, and, and to, to lesser or greater degrees, but we were all friends. Yeah, we shared everything and uh, I don't know, maybe I would have done it different if I thought about it, but nobody was thinking about it. Everybody's just like doing what they do, you know. Well, I was strolling on that filthy avenue, kicking around. Wondering what to do. Uh, cycling is, you know, this beautiful connector uh, between uh, what you need to do, what you have to do, and just going out and having fun.